<laughs> oh, ooh, my bad, Jolly man. I knew I was gonna say that. Um, so, well, what's up, y'all? Sorry, I, <laughs> I ain't planning on coming in here for all here for like uh, pro actually all week, really, because um, I'm just uh. You know, making some decisions about my life so I can, um, some final decisions, you know. But anyway, that's what I'm talking about. Um, so for a few of you, right, maybe even three, four, five of you guys. Um, the, so, okay, there's somebody that's been wanting to reach out to you. I don't know who it is to you, right? They've been wanting to reach out to you, right? They've been writing They've been texting messages to you and then not sending them and then erasing them or saving them, you know, in a folder for later. They've been thinking about you nonstop, like, but I, it's like they're waiting for some type of right time to come towards you, right? But they've ghosted you. Uh, they've made you feel like they don't care about you. They've made you feel like, um, like you don't exist to them, Right. And, and they're expecting that they're expecting that you're going to wait however long it's supposed to be until they feel like they're ready. And then when they say that they're, you know, that they're ready to come forward, that you're supposed to just jump at their offer and say, oh, yeah, sure, because you're ready now. Somebody's about to be sadly and sorely disappointed, okay? Because you're about to tell them no, right? You're going to accept their apology, right? You're going to accept their apology. Um, you know, they are going to give you the truth or whatever, but because they they didn't make themselves known to you, right? They didn't they ghosted you after a, a, a last text message 222, right? They had text you and then you text them back and then you never heard from them again. Right. And since then, you haven't heard from them. You haven't seen them. Um, they haven't made themselves known to you. Like it's like they act like you don't exist to them. So since they had since they were doing that, you took the hint and you made your decision in that alone time and you decided that um that you're not going to continue with with the relationship, right? If, if, if they come back offering something that you decided that you're not, you know, you're going to accept their apology. You're going to, um, I don't see no argument or nothing. You're going to accept their apology, right? Um, but you're going to kindly um, turn them down, right? Because... <laughs> It's like it's like you don't know if you can trust them, right? Because they they it's like as soon as you're getting ready to move on, like, and I believe it's because somebody else came in, is either came in your life or they're coming in your life now, but it's because they waited until either somebody came in your life, right, or to where you you know, detached from them in some type of way. And then, you know, they're going to try to come back and, and say, you know, sorry and all this and that. But little do they realize, for whoever I'm talking to now, this is for who I'm talking to, little do they realize they lost their chance a long time ago because they didn't speak to you. They didn't say, hey, I'm over here dealing with this. I just need to give me some time. But they didn't say anything. They treated you like, um, like an option. They shut the door in your face, right? And rejected you but really they need you because right now they're sick and can't no doctor hear the sickness that they got right or that they're dealing with right it could be sickness it could be it could be a uh, uh, you know a sickness or it could be like uh, they're love sick right because they realize who you are now they realize that they they do love you and love and but they won't tell you they won't tell you four 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 on my timer they won't tell you how they feel about you right so you decided that you're going to move on because, um, how are you going to, you can't be with somebody that's not going to, you know what I'm saying? They can't express themselves to you. You can't, you can't, 
You can't have anything, right? You can't have friendships. You can't have any type of relationships without talking. Otherwise, there's no relationship, right? Because you don't talk, okay? So, I don't know. But, um, yeah, uh, a good a good amount of you are moving on, okay? Because you're tired of um, being being treated like you... You're tired of being treated like you don't matter to them when you matter to them. Okay, so, um, yeah, just prepare yourself for that. I don't know when you're going to meet up, when you this is going to happen, but yeah, just prepare yourself for it because it's going to happen. Okay, um, and if any of y'all do think about taking them back or entertaining anything, make sure you use your discernment. Make sure you use your discernment. Okay, make sure you get all the truth. Okay, use your discernment. Okay, um, don't make any quick decisions impulsive decisions no okay allow yourselves to be removed from the situation and and be alone to think about it right and um some of these people right are only coming back because they're they're separated from the third party that they left you for okay some of them are just separate because they do that they'll separate when one thing goes wrong and i mean when i say go, goes wrong it doesn't even mean it literally goes wrong. It means like an argument or something, right? Regular things that happen. If an argument goes on, they'll leave you and they'll go to the they'll go to the 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 old person they were with, right? And then when they get tired of them or they get into it, then they'll come and mess with you. You see what I'm saying, right? So they're not giving you when if they're not giving you your attention. I mean, if they're not giving you their attention, right? You guys aren't speaking to each other. They're giving their attention to somebody. Right, so it, there, somebody's getting their attention, right? Okay, so there you go, right? So, um, yeah, you know, hey, I told you, I would be telling you, silence is an answer, man. I don't know why people don't believe that silence is an answer, <laughs> okay? People are about to find that out, all right? Later, y'all, peace. See you on a few days. <laughs>